Heather, what are some of the concerns in the area? Well, some of the biggest concerns are quite obvious. Those are parking concerns. This is the five points area. You can see parking is already a mess out here, and this is uh, the same type of situation over in the Avondale area, especially during lunchtime hours, even at night on the weekends. Parking can be hard to come by in these areas. Some folks uh, will clog up neighborhood streets just to find parking, and some of the other issues are loud music and late hours, plus congestion in general. The bill seeks to reinforce certain zoning regulations, but some people think it's too harsh. If you visited Five Points or Avondale lately, you've probably seen crowded sidewalks and bustling restaurants. But with all that prosper comes concern over change. It's anywhere between the hours of 11 till 2, it's a nightmare. One reason Councilman Jim Love introduced a bill that would reinforce current zoning regulations, but also put certain restrictions on new restaurants coming into the historic district. The new overlay map breaks the district up into five character areas. According to Jennifer Wolf with the group Proud of Riverside, certain areas are zoned for certain types of commercial development, and the character areas highlight what type of development is appropriate for that zone. The bill says new restaurants would have to close their doors to the public by 8 p.m., provide parking on site, control light from cars and parking structures, and have no more than 60 seats inside. They also wouldn't be allowed to sell takeout and entertainment or outside seating wouldn't be allowed. Jonathan Leonard owns a business in Avondale and says regulations are certainly needed. As you do need the growth for your neighborhood to survive, I feel that there has to be some discretion as to to how your neighborhood grows. This is a very charming and, and small neighborhood. Seth Kimball, who also owns a business in Avondale, said the bill could put a cap on growth, which he doesn't think would help the area. We all have to coexist in the same space together. Um, it's a multifaceted problem if you consider it like a hub on a tire with lots of spokes. and. The problem has lots of different little solutions and together I think that can create possibly the, the big solution or assistance to it. Now both of those gentlemen would like to see public input on the bill. It's just now going through committees and we did reach out to Councilman Jim Love about the bill. We were told he would be out of town until Monday. I also had an in-depth chat with that woman who is from Proud of Riverside. She believes that this bill is a result of several issues that have been going on in this area for quite some time. Uh, I have posted her uh, thoughts on the bill in our website, news4jax.com. For now, we're live. Heather Lee, Channel 4, the local station.